This is the HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS pedal assist bike, Pedelec, right? It's got pedal assisted motor technology. There's no throttle on this. The FS, that stands for full suspension. You can see the little kind of the bumpers here, the covers. And we've got a nice rock shocks mono track in the back. That's awesome. It's got rebound adjustment right here. You know, one of my complaints on recumbents is sort of, sort of like the neck neck pain because you're you're riding along you're kind of in this back position and in your helmet it's kind of going like that on a normal bicycle you can kind of pick yourself up using your legs and absorb some of those bigger bumps something like this it's it's difficult and whether you're going up and down like a sidewalk uh, kind of a gutter situation or going a little bit off road if you have to for like a hard pack trail it's really nice to have that sort of support uh, the tires on this bike also add a little bit of support You've got the schwabi energizer plus this is 26 by 1.65, I believe. If we go back here, where is it? Oh, 1.75, okay, very cool. And it's got the nice reflective sidewall. I think these are 20 by 1.75. Same thing, Schwalbe Energizer Plus. Yeah, there it is. Really good tires, gonna be durable. They've got that nice efficient tread pattern, but still a little bit wider. They aren't like specifically for road. So that's, that's awesome. When you pair that with the suspension, then one of these nice seats, you can really dial it in, um, add some extra padding. There's all kinds of accessories for recumbents. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually here in Portland, Oregon at recumbent uh, PDX, and they've got an amazing selection of accessories and they can really dial it in. A lot of people who are interested in a recumbent like this, they, they have sort of adaptive needs. So maybe they've had a stroke or they have a knee injury or something like that. And there's all kinds of accessories you can add to the crank so you don't have to bend your knees quite as far. Or maybe they can move everything from, from one of the bars to the other so that you can operate the entire bike with one of your hands, the good hand, the good arm. Um, so I love that. Just wanted to do a quick shout out. This is a 27 speed bike. So plenty of range, whether you're at the low end and you're climbing or starting out or at the higher end. And you can really hit some high top speeds. I think this thing goes... Uh, like potentially up to 30 miles per hour. It's a German brand for the HP Velotechnic. And in Europe, they have something called a speed pedelec where you kind of get licensing and stuff. And you'll notice that there's this plate on the back. That's for adding a license plate. But in the United States, there's sort of some gray areas and you can dial in the top speed. Uh, I do love that it has lights here. See that top light line uh, on the back, LED. Same thing with the front, even kind of adjustable. Beautifully done, Lumotech. And there's a little guard on the front here to protect the chain ring and keep it keep everything on track so yeah three rings on the front yeah nine in the rear diore xt really good componentry this is one of the more expensive bikes i mean you could spend 10 grand on this and they actually have a couple of fav flavors uh, this one is sort of the standard width i guess standard track and i think it's 32 uh, and then the wider one is 36 and they can bring the seat up a little bit make it a little bit easier to step into on this one you know you kind of step over like this put your hand down and then ease yourself into position got the mirrors and everything you can adjust shifters right here brakes tectro aruga and they are hydraulic okay or ariga <laughs> i always mispronounce those um, that's great though really smooth You've got two rotors on the front 160 millimeter for both of those the levers they not only activate the brake they also cut power to the motor and they actually activate a regeneration mode, which is really cool. So you can capture some of that energy back if you had to climb a big hill, 180 millimeter on the back. So extra good stopping power, especially important if you're hitting those higher top speeds. Also love that they've got a fender here and this nice standard gauge tubing on uh, kind of the pannier setup, right? So you've got the pannier blockers back here, potential room for like a trunk bag. There's a lot of versatility in a bike like this just as is, just as a bicycle, but this one really takes it to the next level for being electric. You can see there's special plates here designed specifically for battery packs. So over there, you can see it's HP Velotechnic, kind of that, I should just go over to it. There's the plastic casing on it. This is 36 volt, 15.5 amp hours. That's really quite, quite large. It's over half a watt hour of energy. It does lock to the frame. Pretty well positioned in terms of weight distribution. It can be kind of set up just right and you can add a second one so you're you're over one kilowatt hour getting amazing range with this in large part because you're even more ergonomic than a traditional bicycle you're much lower 
right? You could put a fairing on the front to keep you protected from the rain or make it even more aerodynamic. But just the way that's set up, that's awesome. Plus it's, it's a pedal assist only. Uh, one of the challenges I've had sometimes is you get going really, really fast and you're in like a high gear and starting out can be like a little bit sluggish. So a lot of times I'll try to plan and I'll shift down as I come, come to a stop. Uh, but this does have a couple of walk modes. Okay, so back to the motor. This is a Go Swiss Drive gearless direct drive motor. That does mean it has a little bit of cogging. So like if I, I kind of lift the wheel up like this and spin the tire, actually I've got it, I've got this e-brake thing set up. There we go. A lot of times you're using rubber bands, but this is a higher quality bike. So anyway, lift up the rear wheel, spin it, and it just comes to a stop a little bit quicker because there's regen happening in there. That's sort of the, the cogging, the magnets are repelling against the stator. So that's one of the downfalls a little bit, but it's also that advantage that you get like 15% efficiency on regeneration. And there are two regen modes. So we talked about the battery, removable, charge it on or off the bike, very cool. We talked about the motor, good weight distribution. If we come up here to the display panel, this is what I wanted to talk about. By the way, it comes in two colors, gray or orange, as well as those two sizes we talked about. Kind of sit yourself down like this, the larger, the larger track, going to be able to lift the seat a little bit, make it a little bit easier, but they've also got these nice bars that you can lower yourself into position with. I really like that. Um, okay, so back to the display panel. Really nice setup here. This is actually Bluetooth compatible, so you can connect it to your phone if you want to, but otherwise you operate it with this little kind of a rubberized ring. Really easy to access. You press the power button, you can see the screen kind of lighting up. And it's, it's fairly adjustable. You can kind of like dial it in and maybe swivel it a little bit. Nice big screen. Starts off in zero, so there are five levels of assist, and the higher you go, the more power you get, but of course you're gonna be using the energy more more quickly. I still think you could you could probably get 35, 40 plus miles because it's pedal assist and just the position and the regen, very cool. And then there's two levels of regen, so arrow down, arrow down, negative two, that's gonna slow you the most. Of course, you're also activating that anytime you pull those, those brake levers, and you can kind of see that, right? So it says zero right now, I'm going to activate the, the brake, and now it says negative two. So you're getting full regen anytime you pull the brake levers. Up here is the speed in miles per hour. Oh, estimated range. It's saying 27 miles right here. Let's see if I arrow up a little bit. Oh, that might be left over from an earlier trip. Power. I'm still kind of getting used to this display. There's a lot of information in here, but it's fairly easy to just get going. You turn it on, you arrow up a couple times, and boom, you're off. If you press this other little box button down at the bottom, it changes between readouts. So we can talk about tour, how far we've gone, how much energy we've used and watt hours, max speed, drive time, lots of information, stop, watch, totals. There's a calling list. So this is the Bluetooth stuff I was talking about before. Data storage. It's just, it's much more advanced than a lot of display panels. And if you're touring on something like this, like you're going long range and you have two of those battery packs, I'm definitely bringing along the charger, gonna be able to top it off along, along the way. Um, it's just an efficient system. And I, I love that they even show that the battery readout here has finer increments. It's just really, you know, this is quality. So we're back to the main display panel here. I was talking about starting out, how that can be difficult sometimes. You're at a high gear, you're at a stop sign, you're like pedaling, trying to get going forward. They've actually got walk modes on this, and that's a good way to get started if you're if you're struggling. So if you just hold down like the minus key here, you actually get a little bit of, whoa, reverse. <laughs> Pretty cool. And same with the plus. There we go, look at that. So it's moving, and I didn't even have to do anything. There we go, using those brakes. Definitely a lot of people use like clip-ins or they'll have, you know, the Velcro boot things and stuff. You don't want your feet to like fall under you, especially if you're going at higher speeds, but that's something that's, you know, relevant to any recumbent. This one's got nice adjusters here. Wanted to show those lights because they're really bright. Got like three LEDs down there and then like a broader head up at the top. And in the rear, that one's actually activated when you pull the brake. So just like a car moving bikes around, you know, a lot of times you pick up the rear swivel it around like this real easy they do tend to be a little bit heavier uh, when you have the motor and everything again it, pretty well balanced on this bike I, I wasn't able to weigh it i'm not really sure i'm guessing you know if you take a traditional recumbent bike with a high quality drivetrain and stuff you add another like 10 pounds because that is a direct drive motor with larger magnets and the battery is probably eight plus pounds uh go ahead and sit back down give it a little test ride here so i'm going to do the walk mode again 
There we go. Getting it up to speed. And then I can easily start pedaling along and arrow up and get myself into some level of assist. Five, it is torque sensing. So it's extremely responsive, very quiet, just super stealth. With those nice disc brakes. Really flies. You can see we're going quite fast at this point. And that suspension, I mean, it's, it's a big draw for me. It's one of the highlights for, for this particular bike and why you might be willing to pay a little bit more for it. Of course, it's probably gonna last longer too. Got the nice mirror set up here. Kind of everything. A lot of times you can also add some fenders. Keep up with traffic. Of course, when you're going faster, it is possible to accidentally flip these or roll them, so you're gonna to want to be careful that way. And to dial in your fit so that your leg extension is, is correct. Hey dude. Maybe get yourself a, a light up tail whip <laughs> like that. Good stuff. <laughs> Come on, no feet. It's awesome. Woo! Looking good. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. I gotcha. Alright. Catch me if you can. Uh very nice. Breaking action. <laughs> oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> So that's it. That's the HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS Pedelec for the full write-up on this and other recumbent electric bikes and stuff. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. And if you've got this, maybe you live in Germany, maybe I missed something, you know, chime in. It's, it's a pretty advanced bike with a lot of features. Um, really wonderful though, very refined, very cool product. Ride safe.